Florida offers us an invasive species known as Maleluca, or the Australian paperbark tree. Large numbers of this tree now exist in the swamps of the Everglades, and we can put it to good use if need be. Its paper-like bark is its biggest resource, aiding in things like fire making, or large sheets like this can give us roofing, insulation, bedding, and other useful implements. The leaves can also be used to relieve headache by chewing them, but that's only if you can handle some bitterness. We're gonna gather a little Maleluca bark ourselves and go ahead and hit it with the ferro rod. This is what I call the birch bark of, of Florida. Uh, it's, it's beautiful stuff. And basically what it'll do is give us fire. You know, we can use a ferro rod, lighter, uh, put it in a tinder bundle, whatever we need to do, it breaks up great. It's, it's much different than birch bark in the sense of how it feels. Maleluca, just like birch bark though, will, will take a spark quite well. And it will also burn black smoke because of the oil in it. And it also repels mosquitoes because of it. So we can use it for signaling because it burns a black smoke. And there's tons of it if you get in the right part of Florida. It's an invasive species that's taken over. You can use it for bedding. You can use it for insulation, fire. It's very useful, and that's why I wanted to revisit it. Um, the one danger, though, when you're gathering it, as I mentioned, is, is the creepy crawlies inside that like to hide in the bark. Um, in Australia, you have a lot more to worry about than you do in Florida. Birch bark is like strips of flammable cardboard, while as you can see here, Maleluca is like a thick piece of toilet paper. This makes it great for exposing fibers and getting a good ignition. Once lit, it can easily burn long enough to get your fire sustainable. <laughs> 